A lot of what I've seen in modern day culture, at least, is that, especially in French culture with what we're talking about today, is that when someone in your friend group reaches a certain level, they feel out of touch. And I felt this before with um, my stepdad. He made a lot of money. And you guys don't know him. You guys want me to find him. So easy to say. Won't be a cakewalk to find. So making a good amount of money, and I just felt super. Like he felt, he felt super higher than me. Super out, it felt super out of place. Gotta get some lighting on this. And this is a very, very common thing in, in which indicates the lack of progress you have achieved is then put on you when you see someone else that is more successful than you. And this is either a good thing or a very bad thing. It's a very personally very bad thing because. It can eternally demotivate you, can eternally set limiting beliefs and set thresholds in which you eternally operate at. For example, your actual potential is here, but you limit yourself and you put your potential here, right? No one knows this. Or it can be incredibly beneficial because then it fucking wakes you up, puts you into <laughs> gas mode, it makes you work, it makes you grind, it makes you understand the reality of the world and just... it. It, wait, it just makes you aware of the things going around around you, which is so, so important, especially for young men. Young women, of course, as well, but young men more so, because you men have to make themselves, women can, can be just, can just, mostly are just are. There's no, nothing to be offensive, it's just the way it is. That's why I can, I call an 18, 19 year old beautiful model type of girl is not compared to like an 18, 19 year old beautiful type of dude. It is not even close. Not even close. Anyways. I see this a lot as well in um, influences, and someone asked me this as well. Re someone told me this was all recently, but a lot of influ not necessarily influences, but like a lot of successful people that are entrepreneurs, like Patrick and David, he got this. The friend that he used to work with before and still works with him told him that he feels out of touch these days, especially because he's so busy with the business and he's so successful now, and if it's like you see his face everywhere on the YouTube channel and this is and that, he feels like a celebrity, like just completely in a different realm, completely in a different area not necessarily expertise of just a completely different area like you're here with the same room with him but he's in a completely different area different realm different a different fucking reality he lives he leads a different completely different reality than you do and a lot of people ask, it's the way they are the reality is three things bad dismiss or good that's the only three ways people uh, think react to this so it's just, it's, it's weird. It's, just, it's genuinely weird. It genuinely is weird. It's weird. And I got this recently as well because my friend, he saw me before, he was like fat. He, he saw me when I was a fatty and when I was brokey. And he saw me like actually make a decent amount of money, a decent amount of change and get into shape and completely revamp myself mentally, spiritually. Emotionally, physically, and he just told me like, "Bro, you feel so out of place now. Like, you, are you even the same person as before?" Like jokingly, and it, it just made me think like, "Yeah, I'm not the same person as before. Of course, I, of course, you feel somewhat stuck on you, like when you like, just sat down on your ass, like someone just picked you up and just slammed, not slammed you, but like just boom on your ass, you just stumped." Stumped on your ass, of course, because you haven't been doing something productive with your life. And while I do it, you suffer. You suffer the consequence of feeling left behind. And there's only one real way to negate this, negate this completely. And that's to get your shit together. <laughs> that's it. It's to focus purely on yourself. It's, it goes back, it goes back, all, all this shit goes back to focusing on yourself. That's it. Because if you focus on other people, you have to understand. Like shame on you. First of all, shame on you for playing that game. But you have to understand that there's always gonna be a bigger fish. There is always going to be a bigger fish, right? Grant Cardone said the best. I can look on the plane, in the airplane. I look at my little jet. It only costs eight million dollars. 
Whoa. What the fuck's that money? Is that like my eyes are bulging? Oh, wait, spark a light. Don't care. Whoa. $8 million. What the fuck? And then, he, and then he looks at the other plane, not a jet, a plane this time. It costs like $100 million. And he's like, I could compare myself to that, but I don't. And he said he had a friend that co often compared himself to the other bigger jet. Like, be grateful you have a fucking jet in the first place, mate. Jesus Christ. Chill out. All right, you, you made it. Of course, chasing more is good. But chill out, man. <laughs> okay. He had like a $3 million. Only a $3 million jet. Wow. What a tough life. Stupid. <sighs> Don't play the game of comparison. Because you're just going to feel feel behind. There's always going to be a 17-year-old. Like, There's a probably a 17-year-old out there who's much richer than me. I could compare myself to a 17-year-old Iman Gaji. To a 17-year-old st strongest lift in the world. A 17-year-old world champion boxer. Uh, but I don't. Because if I do, I'll waste my fucking life. Understand, guys? Bye-bye. Do I need... Should I just got that ending? If someone called it... Someone, someone told me that that ending is zesty. Like, mm, I don't want to be zesty. I just like saying bye like that. Look at the slot of camera. Spare positive energy. So, Sonora.